everybody welcome back to my channel so today's video is gonna be reviewing nova beauty and as you guys can see this is a very big package this is basically all of the lip products this video is going to be sponsored by nova beauty but we all know fashion nova right like who doesn't know fashion nova so in here on the top you can obviously see there is a lot a lot of lipsticks um and then below that is all the lip glosses and then on the side over here is their lip liners so their lipsticks right here these retail for 12 dollars which I think it's a very fair price for a good lipstick. High-end lipsticks can retail for like 18 to 20 something dollars. That's a pretty good price. And honestly, the packaging is pretty nice as well. It's got a magnetic lid, so it kind of just shuts like that. Matte black kind of finished packaging. But I do really like how nice it feels with that magnetic um, cap. So most of their lipsticks are in a satin finish, but they do have matte finishes and also a shimmer finish. So lots of different finishes, lots of different options to choose from with their lipsticks because they do have a lot of colors. Their lip liners right here, these retail for $10. Like, that is not bad at all. I feel like $10 is pretty much like drugstore prices. So to get a good lip liner that is $10 is really nice. I'm just going to show you guys like the kind of shape that these lip liners have. So it's pretty much like angled, but it's also like pretty thin. It's really going to be like so easy to apply. But on the other side, it has a little brush. This little brush is going to really just help you blend out the liner. Like, you know, when you first apply it and you're trying to blend it out like with your finger, it's just like a two-in-one product. I don't know if I've had a lip liner that has a brush on the other end, so I really like that little feature. And then lastly, we have their glosses. These are going to retail for $14, which I don't think that's a bad price, honestly. I do love a really like glossy finish, really hydrated lip kind of finish. I usually use some sort of lip balm. So this first lip liner that I'm going to try out is Nude One. So I'm pretty sure this is just going to be like a really basic nude lip liner like that perfect lip liner that you can just always depend on for every day night look like whatever you want to use it for this is going to be like the perfect nude oh my gosh these are so creamy it's extremely easy to apply especially because of like the shape of the lip liner so that is the lip liner on my lips right there I am obsessed with the color. I, I'm obsessed with the formulation. It's super creamy. It's matte, but it's not. It's not like chalky. I'm debating. Like, do I go in with this shade? It's called OG. I'm trying to see if this shade is more of a satin finish rather than matte because I feel like it would be. Okay, I feel like this is slightly like a satin finish, but that is OG on my hand. I feel like the lipstick OG was a little bit darker than this lip liner specifically in the shade Nude 1. But I think they still paired well together. So far, so good. I really, really, really like the formulation. So I'm going to stick to just more like everyday um, lip looks before we go into the more bold colors. Just so that the bold colors don't like stain my lips or anything. I'm going to now go in with the shade Nude 2. You guys, these are so easy to apply. I'm gonna try and go in with the brush on the other side and just like diffuse the line a little bit okay this is probably this is my favorite lip liner ever this is my shade oh my god you guys i'm so excited uh, i can't contain myself because this is my favorite lip liner look at it i love a good just like lip liner glossy look or like lip liner lip balm look so instead of adding like a lipstick on top of the lip liner you just go in with like some sort of gloss so i'm gonna go in with their clear gloss and this is in the shade thick that's a good gloss oh my gosh no because uh, this is the smoothest gloss i have ever used in my entire life you know those glosses where it's like if you were to go like this it would just like 
you would see like strings of gloss like this lip gloss is very great the formula of this is like unlike any other gloss i've tried it's super super hydrating it's really smooth like when i go like this it just feels so nice on my lips you still get such a shine from it you know like it still makes your lips look juicy and just like glossy but it's not sticky at all these ones are $14 and now I see why because their glosses are for sure like the star of the show because they're that good. This right here is going to be my lip combo for god knows how long because it's just that good. I have never felt this strongly about a lip combo. And that is saying a lot because I usually don't like gravitate towards a lot of lip products. So in the beginning I was like we're going to see like how Nova Beauty is. But you guys, I am obsessed with this lip combo. Okay, is it weird to say that after having that gloss on for like not even that long, that my lips feel like extra hydrated even before I started doing this? I don't know what it is, but those glosses are extremely hydrating for whatever reason. But it's amazing. So next, I'm going to go in with the shade Brown 1. I love a good brown liner. Like it just makes me feel like a baddie, you know? Okay, this one definitely needs to be blended out a little bit, but pigment. The pigment is there. The creaminess is there. You guys, I'm obsessed with this little brush. It's like so fun to blend this out. I'm going to go in with the shade Tone, and I believe this is going to be a matte lipstick, correct? Maybe? Okay, yeah, so I think this is pretty much a matte lipstick. I'm gonna go in in the center with tone and almost create like that ombre effect. Don't mess with me with this lip combo on, got it? Cause this is how I feel right now. I'm channeling like that baddie energy right now with this lip combo on. My lips feel hydrated still, but it's definitely a matte finish. And I just, I feel like my lips just look so good. <laughs> I am obsessed with this. Okay, so again, the shades that I used just now on my lips was Brown 1, and then their lipstick in the shade Tone. I feel like the undertones of these two shades are super complementary. These kind of just go together really well. I'm gonna see just like if I can elevate this to look even better. Okay, I low-key want to try this lip gloss out um this is in the shade no cap i kind of just want to see what this would look like with this lip gloss on top of it like maybe it'll give it like a different look or something Ooh, this would honestly look so good just without anything on your lips as well um so of course it does have a little bit of color to it but it is a gloss and it's super lightweight super hydrating i just I, i'm really i really really love this mm. I want to go in with a red color because we can't just like not try a red lip even though i don't really wear like red lips that often um i don't know why because every time i put them on i'm like i'm gonna go in with shade flare and this i'm just gonna put this lipstick on because i feel like that's pigment okay now this red is like a true red this is the kind of red that I see like all the celebrities wearing on the red carpet. Like it's very much a true red. And it does have a satin finish. This is what the lipstick looks like up close. I swear it's like every time I try on a red lipstick, I love it. But I just never wear any red lipstick. I'm just curious because I've never tried a red lip gloss. Um, but this is in the shade Dime. It's pretty much like the same color um, as Flare. So I think these would most likely be a good duo. This almost like adds more pigment to the lip color. This thing has like a ton of pigment in it as a lip gloss because the way it just like oh yeah this gives me like old hollywood vibes like marilyn monroe vibes i'm gonna go for one more bold lip look i'm gonna go in with a coral shade this is in the shade coral one you guys this pigment is insane 
this is just the lip liner on my lips and this is again in the shade coral one and then i'm gonna try and go in with this is going to add a little bit of like orange corally to my lips and this is in the shade reset so right on top holy crap and i also want to go in with this um lip gloss right here and this is in the shade thirsty you can see that it has like really tiny like reflex of glitter so like it's not gonna be like crazy glittery but it's gonna add like kind of like a really good shine honestly i would use any of their lip glosses on top of anything because they are that hydrating this right here is a very bold bright lip color but i'm kind of into it i don't know it's cute it's very like summery honestly i'm gonna go ahead and apply my favorite lip combo from all of these and kind of just give you guys like a recap of what i think of nova beauty okay i'm back and this right here is my lip combo i just feel like it goes so well with my skin tone and honestly the formula of their lip products is so good genuinely shocked because i didn't know nova beauty had it like that and also like the prices of their lip products is not bad at all if you guys wanted to know what i am wearing on my lips it is the lip liner in the shade nude 2 and then their lip gloss in the shade thick okay so recap their lip liners bomb i am obsessed with the shape i love the formulation they're super creamy easy to apply they have like a two-in-one feature where, you know, you got the lip liner side, but then you also have the brush on the other side to blend the lip liner. They have a huge range of lipsticks, pretty much any color that you would want in a lipstick. Their lipsticks are extremely pigmented. The formula of them, bomb. I feel like the main thing that I can get from all of their lip products is that everything was just so hydrating and smooth on my lips. And then their lip glosses. I can't get enough for their lip glosses. I... I'm a lip gloss gal. I love a good gloss shine to my lips. Their lip glosses are just 10 out of 10. 12 out of 10 actually because I did like their other products but their lip glosses were bomb. I will have everything linked down below for you guys. If you guys wanted to get any of the shades that I actually tried on in this video, definitely go look at the description box because I'll have everything linked. I'll have everything listed that I use. I'm not like that into crazy lip colors and just lip products in general so the fact that nova beauty can really impress me is saying a lot but let me know what lip combo suited me the best which one you guys liked the best in the comments down below don't forget to subscribe like this video if you enjoyed it which i really hope you did i really hope you guys liked it and i will see you guys in my next video bye